Big shout out to my friend Christina for doing this video with me. We're here to shed light. We're here to provide hope and inspiration. And this is what we came up with. Make sure you subscribe only if we vibe. Thanks again, Christina. I really appreciate you. This is what we came up with. Hey you, it's Adam over at If I Motivation. And today I got Christina with me. Say what's up, Christina. Hi, Hi everybody. We're out here, we're shedding light um, on the homeless population. And um, how long you been out here, Christina? Seven years. Seven years straight? Seven years straight. In Fort Myers? Yes. Damn, mm -hmm. so like 2020, so like 2013? Mm-hmm. Full time, like always, just All how we met, time. just right now? Yep. All the time. Can you, can you, uh, can you remember, like, what was going on then? Like, it went, like, what? How what? I came out. Yeah, how how'd you come out and, uh... I was originally up in the panhandle. Of Florida? Uh, in Florida. And, um, I met a guy. Uh-huh. And I hitchhiked all the way down here for this guy. You hitchhiked from the panhandle of Florida to southwest Florida? Yes, I did. Yep. And um, we got together and we were in a tent in this lady's backyard that I became really cool with. Um, right, because she was good people. Yeah, she was showing she was you good love. She, could, she was she... a carney like me. I've done uh -huh. the carnival for 17 years. Okay. And, so you uh, traveled the whole world doing the carnival? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yep. And um, came down here and he ended up going to prison because he almost killed somebody over me. And I've been out here by myself ever since. Damn, and that's been fun. seven years? Seven years. This year will be my eighth year. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's uh, that's a really long time, Christina. Mm -hmm. And I'm yeah. like, oh man, like, like it must be, like I, I only spent days and weeks, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? I never really spent years. Like it must be some really yeah. challenging shit. It to overcome right mm -hmm. you know because i was talking with a couple couple of us right here some of the family right mm -hmm. here and you know it's uh well uh when you're homeless you're looked down upon yeah right and yeah. you're and it's yeah. and it can be sometimes on the degrading yes. side of life yeah. mm -hmm. right yeah there was times i wanted to commit suicide and just kill myself right because everybody thinks us homeless people are thieves and right know, they're all labeled addicts. the same I mean, a lot of us are. Yes, I've been a drug addict. Sure, um, me too. I used to shoot a bunch of dope. Mm -hmm. I'm getting off of the rock cocaine now. Good. Um, it's been a couple of days. Um, I'm trying really hard because that was my way of running from the life out here. And uh, sure, like you, know, I mean, for me, same thing. Like you hit the stem, and you ain't got to think about mm -hmm. how shitty mm -hmm. things are yep. or whatever. Yep. Yep. And then I got to the alcohol. Um, been to the alcohol, and liquor, and just it's crazy it's just right crazy just trying to run from life right and always running like mm -hmm. i'm like like for me it was i was always running from myself mm -hmm. right yep. and then like the mm -hmm. dope or the see i was never really huge on liquor for some reason i don't know i would rather like i was real big into shooting dope mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying i've never done that thank god no you never picked up the needle not mm -hmm. once nope really nope Never. Good for you. Mm -mm. That's a that's one positive thing sometimes mm -hmm. in a in a because I mean, you know the life expectancy of a dope shooter out here is like six or seven years. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I've heard a lot of people out here now that are just dying from overdosing on that fentanyl. Yeah, my brother died from that yeah. shit. Yeah, a couple people I know died from right out, out here in Morris Shores Plaza in the back. Right behind the it. Needle sticking out of their arm, dead, pure blood. What? Yep. They just found a girl a few like a month ago. Back behind the Morris Shores Plaza, right mm -hmm. here. Dead with a needle dead. in their arm. Yep. Yeah, man, that shit's killing everybody. Yeah. I noticed a bunch of people actually came up today, and like, um, you know, we have some community outreach, right? Yeah. But you know, so you were saying that you travel, you like migrate between forty-one and yeah, seventy-five I here. Yeah, I do. And up and down Palm mm -hmm. Beach and and whatnot, mm -hmm. and it's crazy, it is. right? Like, um, yeah. you know, I was hearing in a different interview that I just did that like um, Chandler right mm -hmm. here, mm -hmm. like they will literally come up and kick you out in the middle yes, of the they rain will. yeah they will right yeah. so if it took me a week well, to get all this stuff and like i got some food and some cardboard boxes some whatever you mm -hmm. obtain right mm -hmm. and then it's raining and they tell you to kick rocks yeah. and then you're just you're walking nowhere. through the yeah. rain it's like a tough shit mm -hmm. situation yep. yep the park rangers are even kicking people out and giving them citations 
to not come back like yep. a trespass and yep. like mm -hmm. you're homeless and you're down on your luck so yep. just get away from here so yep. that we don't have to deal with it as, mm -hmm. a, as, a, as a county or a yep. community that's, that's basically what it is right have you uh like basically what i'm trying to prevent and by doing these educational videos i really appreciate you taking your time no out problem. today and doing this with me you know i'm trying to a shed light yes. right and and i'm trying to b show <laughs> i'm 35 you're a little bit older than me mm -hmm. i just don't want a bunch of jitterbugs out here right you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. because like the 18 year old version of yourself or the 20 year old version mm -hmm. of myself we don't need these kids out here doing this shit because it's not mm -hmm. it's not all fun and games okay. you know uh a lot of people say oh you hold a sign you make more money than the yeah. average working bear mm -hmm. and i mean like you know there's a yeah. lot of uh no, what, misperceived what notion I've been understanding is um at, from the when the election hits uh-huh they're gonna start making homeless people and taking them to jail we're gonna be well they're already doing that in this county mm -hmm. trespassing like i don't even know a homeboy down in town he's got like this big ass beard and mm -hmm. sometimes he gets a shave and mm -hmm. there's clear mental health oh, man, my, my man's getting arrested like they arrest you on trespassing mm -hmm. Right, so then you lose all your stuff. Yep. So anything that you might have had or is at your camp is now subject to being yep. to, to being whoever's. took. Yep. Right, you're gonna get got. Mm -hmm. Right, because now yep. it ain't yours. Somebody run up on the little bit yep. that you had tucked away, and now mm -hmm. it's theirs kind of thing. Yeah, last night I slept back here behind the shell station in the uh -huh. woods. Uh huh. Mm hmm. And how's that work, man? Like, don't the bugs be turned? Yeah, the mosquitoes. I'm like a little bit up and ants and yeah. Now, now how do you how does how does one that is homeless like get the cash like i mean a lot of people hold signs i know right? they I go mean, to right here to pay setters and to the day labor and try right to get and like try to get something a day. yeah right and mm -hmm. it's cash they pay you when you're done yeah we, we'll get a check we go to the liquor store cash a check and it's 60 bucks right cash. right so honest you, living so you just you just try to you try to get up there early yep. enough yep. to get a spot there, right because yep. if you ain't up there yep. early enough and the yep. spots is gone yep. It's mm -hmm. almost like the park, tough, mm -hmm. tough shit, and you gotta go. Yes. Huh. Yeah. Some days you get out, some days you don't, and um, it's hard. And you gotta go panhandle or whatever. Right. I don't do it because I that's degrading to me. Right. Well, it's some degrading um, shit, but sometimes yeah. we we do shit that mm -hmm. you know. I remember all the degrading shit I was doing when I was shooting dope. Yeah. You know, I was never one to hold sign, but I mm -hmm. damn sure rob and steal and lie and yep. Yep. whatever it took. Mm -hmm. Is there, as, as as a whole, without pointing fingers and saying, you're wrong, you're wrong, this mm -hmm. is, you know what I mean, is Lee County clearly could step their game up yes. in yes. assisting with yeah, mental health, they substance can. abuse. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Like, what can, like, what can we do? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. it's, it's tough. Like, here's, basically, I don't want the younger version of you and the younger version of me out here doing the shit that we got to do. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because right. I was right where you was. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Except for I wouldn't be in a spot so centralized. I'd be off in the bushes to where nobody could find me. You know, and that yep. was more as That's a juvenile yep. because I wanted to run from myself. Like, I had mom and dad issues and mm -hmm. all this other stuff, um, PTSD mm -hmm. and all this stuff. And I used to just go out there in old olga yeah. you know off caribbean and there's like a one and a half acre patch back there and i used to lay my head back down there when i was a juvenile because i didn't want to go home right oh man is this it i mean this is it for me right now yeah i mean do you think you ever going to get up out the streets or um probably a, not because um my family kind of like turned their backs on me right um I mean, just all I do is work, get enough money to even get a motel for a night. Right, and then it's just the same. It's yeah, just the same. same over and over. Right, yeah. right. Just keep, just keep doing it. Mm-hmm. That shit gets discouraging, though, man. Right, like degrading, like that. Mm -hmm. Like you were talking about earlier, you know, that hypothetical suicide attempt. Mm -hmm. Like I'd be laying out there like this, like my life sucks, dude. Yeah, like, that's why I was last night. I was laying, looking up at the trees, like fuck, this sucks. Right. Yeah. And then you're hungry, you're, hung, yep. you know, you're, you're getting mm -hmm. your, your ass bit up by bugs, like yep. you said, you know, and then mm -hmm. we got cold weather. Thank God old boy showed up yes, with some of that warm God blanket, that. sir, whoever you were, we really appreciate yes, you stopping by, you. um, in between these interviews and dropping these folks off that, that, thank that you. blanket. That was, that was really nice of you. Um, well, Christina, yes. 
I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you, everybody. Yep. Oh. oh. Ah. Oops. One more time. One more time. <laughs> Love y'all. Can I get a hug, girl? Thank you. Yep. God bless y'all. Yep. Hey. I really appreciate you coming out today, Christine, and doing this with me. Let's shed more light on this because this is an issue that's not going to end until we do something about it, you know, and my heart goes out to everyone struggling. So let's get together as a community. Let's get together as a whole. Let's put a plan together in Lee County, Florida, and actually go out there and walk it like we talk it. I'm so glad to see you today. If you stay tuned, I'll see you real soon. Hashtag this is ifi thanks again christina thank you make sure you subscribe